Jeroboam was the king of Israel. One day, he started thinking, if the people of Israel want to worship God, they have to go to the temple in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is in the kingdom of Judah, where their old king, Rehoboam, is ruling. Maybe the Israelites will start thinking of King Rehoboam as their leader. That was not what Jeroboam wanted. So Jeroboam made two golden calves. Then he made an announcement to the northern tribes. It is so inconvenient for you to travel all the way to Jerusalem to worship at the temple, he said. Look, these golden calves are the gods who brought your ancestors out of Egypt. You can worship them. What Jeroboam did was a sin. Those calves did not lead God's people out of Egypt. God led his people out of Egypt. Jeroboam also built forbidden shrines and celebrated made-up festivals so Israel would seem like a better place to live than Judah. Jeroboam led all the people in worship to the false gods. One day, Jeroboam was standing by an altar to make a sacrifice to a false god. God sent a prophet from Judah to share a message. The prophet said that a son named Josiah would be born into the family of King David. He would bring judgment on the priests who make sacrifices to false gods. King Jeroboam pointed to the prophet and shouted, Arrest this man! But suddenly, Jeroboam couldn't move his arm, and the altar next to him broke into pieces. Help! Jeroboam told the prophet, Pray and ask God to heal my arm. So the prophet prayed to God and God healed Jeroboam's arm. Still, Jeroboam's heart was hard and he did not turn from his evil ways. He continued to sin by leading the people away from the Lord. Because of this sin, Jeroboam's kingdom would one day be destroyed. Sin always leads us away from God. Jesus came to bring us back to God. Jesus is the true king who gave his life as a sacrifice so we can be forgiven of our sins. Jesus' kingdom will last forever.
Hi there, I'm Pastor Kevin. It's time for questions from kids. Byron from Greensboro, North Carolina asks, Is it okay to pray to someone besides God? Oh, that's a great question. But the short answer is no. We pray to God and God alone. There is no other God but our God. And so we want to make sure that we always pray to Him. Now, my encouragement is for all of you all to pray. I would love for you to pray alone in the morning as you go through your day, in the evening. David encouraged us to pray at all those points in the day. I also encourage you to pray with your family and pray with your friends and pray with your local church members. All those groups of people are great people to pray with. I also want to encourage you to make a list of people to pray for. You can even make a list of countries to pray for because you know what? There are believers all around the world who need our prayers. And the reason why I love to make lists of people to pray for and countries to pray for is because I go back through that list and I get to see how God has actually answered my prayers and the prayers of the people that I have prayed with. Now, my encouragement is for you to utilize the ACTS prayer. That's A-C-T-S. And your teacher can tell you much more about this, but the A is for adoration. We want to adore God in our prayer and just remind ourselves of how awesome God is. And then the C is to confess. We always need to confess our sins. And the beauty of confessing our sins is because God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins when we confess them. And then the T is for thanksgiving. There are boundless things that we can be thankful for. So make a short list of things that you can be thankful for and then say out loud or say in your head all those things that you're thankful for God giving you and taking care of you. And then the S is for supplication. Now, that's a pretty big word, but supplication simply means to, to ask. Because God is a really big God, he can take on all of our requests. So please ask God. Now, I want to remind you that we pray to the one true God, and it is never okay to pray to any other God. Question for you, friends. What are some things you can tell others about the one true God? Sin always leads us away from God. Jesus came to bring us back to God. Jesus is the true King who gave His life as a sacrifice so we can be forgiven of our sins. Jesus' kingdom will last forever.